Morning Washington, starting Monday on ABC 7's Good Morning Washington, where good mornings start. Good morning, Washington. Morning Washington, weekday morning starting at 425, where good mornings start. Changes are coming to the stained glass windows at the National Cathedral. Representations of the Confederate flag are going to be removed. Plain glass will replace them. Work is supposed to start by the end of this summer. Those changes come nearly a year after South Carolina's governor ordered the Confederate flag removed from State House grounds. That was triggered by a deadly shooting at a black church in South Carolina by a white suspect known for embracing the image. Once the glass is removed, it will be used as a centerpiece for a national conversation about racism in the church. Meantime, we now know the identity of the man shot by officers yesterday at Dallas Love Field Airport. 29-year-old Sean Diamond is accused of assaulting his former girlfriend and vandalizing her car outside a terminal, which led to a dramatic scene unfolding right outside the airport. Here's Andrea Lucia with the story. Before the gunfire, newly released surveillance video shows Sean Diamond's ex-girlfriend dropping him off at the airport. She appears to toss his clothes on the street. He then grabs a traffic cone and begins breaking her car windows. Diamond was fresh out of jail. Carrollton police say he drove down from Maryland Tuesday to confront his ex and intentionally crashed into several trees there, causing nearly $4,000 worth of damage. At the airport, an officer intervened, drawing his gun. A second pulled his taser. Police say Diamond charged them both with rocks in his hand, prompting the officer to fire. <laughs> Ignoring the officer's warning, the video shows Diamond runs at them again. Several more shots are fired. Witnesses reported that during the incident, suspect Diamond made statements to the officer such as, you are going to have to shoot me. Oh my God. The scene played out in front of a crowded airport and within minutes, cell phone video appeared online. Investigators are still reviewing the use of deadly force, but Chief David Brown says the video already tells much of the story. Some of the restraint the officer used, uh, the tactics the officer used were quite appropriate. And that was Andrea Lucia reporting for us. The officer who shot Diamond is on paid administrative leave. Diamond is hospitalized in stable condition. And coming up, we're going to time out your thunderstorms for this week. Tomorrow still hot, but there's a couple things that make it a little bit better, at least feel like it's better. That's coming up after the break.